Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a, what is today, Thursday edition of JC3D. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning on July 21st. I'm good. Coming at you live. Yep. Don't forget to click and subscribe. And jumping right into it. So today we're going to do a bulldozer for you. Um, so I've got this loaded up. If you click the link in the description below, you can get this scene here. It just has these two pictures. And they've been scaled. And the positions changed so that these objects are in the center uh, of the scene right there. Alrighty, so they're about the same size here. So let's see. I'm just going to start to jump in. Let's go for... Hmm. How about we go for the smokestack right here? So did you see this right here is a cylinder like that? Um, so I'm just going to go grab a cylinder. And I'm going to shut off the work plane and the world axes just to kind of clean up the scene a little bit. Take this guy here, scale him down. Hit the S key, it'll zoom in on an object you've got. So let's see. Seems pretty decent right here. I'm going to copy and paste that, make it a little smaller. And lift that up for here. Copy and paste and put it one down here. Like so. Oh, I also want to make sure I call out Eduardo Paiva. Um, this is a person who watches the show pretty much I think every one of my shows if I'm right and um, this was a suggestion from Eduardo so thank you very much all right so the, I've got a couple of cylinders here let's see I'm gonna copy and paste this one get the diameter to go down a little bit just by scaling it see I've only got the ability to do this with my little handle there but I can go like that pretty easily too so rather than say like go to this view where I actually have that handle I've got two handles in this view not so in this view mm -mm -mm. okay so anyway I want to make sure that this does both of them so I'm just gonna do it with one raise it up like that whoops something like All right, then we got this piece here. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to take this guy, zoom in on that, and I'm just going to copy and paste that. And what I'm going to do is current state this to an object, and I'm going to delete the top. So at this moment, I just want to clean the scene up. I don't want to delete those, but I'm going to hide them. That way I can focus on this guy. And what I'm going to do here is delete this, delete this, I'm going to fill this hole right here. Ba -dum -bump. Let's see. Add close polygon hole. And I'm going to go. I'm going to try this quad one right here and see what that does. Nope. I'm going to go grid. Okay, so I like that. And then what I'm going to do is grab this and select invert. That's just U, I think. Is it UK or U? Yeah, UK. I guess that wasn't it. Select invert is UI. So hockey UI. I'm just going to delete those. We'll hit all that in there and the hockey D like this. I'm going to move that over. Actually, it like, looks like it's kind of like this. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Now, let's see if I can move these points with my uh, soft selector turned on. I'm just going to grab that right there, go to the soft selection, turn it on right here. And you can see it's a little bit too heavy. So I'm going to turn it down because I only really want it to go affect this. So it's at 0.5, I'll go 0.1. Well, maybe more than that. Point Okay, now it's set to linear, so let's see what happens. It's kind of like that, I guess. Maybe I want a little bit more. 0.4. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to grab 
these points right here. I'm going to turn off soft selector. I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Scale that a little bit flatter. Hit the hotkey D. Move it out like that. Like that. Oh, um, so I got a message from Eduardo. He's saying that this is going to be hard. He's um, he's surprised that I'm even giving it a shot. But why not? So let's see. I'm going to try to put this underneath a smoother here. Like that. So now it's all subdivided. That looks pretty good, although it's a little funky right here. <laughs> so let's see. Might be able to fix that just with my uh, little soft selector tool. But let me see. Here's what it looks like underneath. So what I could do is just flatten this. this and just go down here and go to so see that's the blue one there and the blue one's Z so that's Z right here boom and tuck that in whoops we missed one make sure you get them all boink uh, same thing here Okay, boom, boom, boom. Shake it up, baby, now. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Now, what in the heck am I actually doing here? Do I even need that? Looking a little funky right here, I'm thinking. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When in doubt, throw it out gonna get rid of it boom, boom, ba -da, boom, boom. same thing down here okay hmm. hmm. <laughs> so now what are we looking at now what are we looking at here okay so it's at least go in here and delete half of it like this that way you just work on one side so, this guy here wants to go all the way up to there or what? I think I'm just going to fuse these guys. We'll turn these guys into just one. So you fuse it with the weld tool here. I just did a right click. And then we'll put it right there. And I guess, I don't know. Maybe I can just do the same thing with this one. What the heck? Boom, boom. Right click, weld, boom. Now look kids, when you're welding, make sure you wear safety um, eyeglasses. <laughs> I'm good. If you're really welding. All right, here we go. Uh, da -da. Hold on, let's see. <laughs> ba ba da ba 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 dum ba Scale these here so they're all in the same Z. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to connect this here because I want to close that in the back there. So current state to an object and delete. Then these things pop up and I can do something like this. I just want to grab this. Bridge it. Boink. Now I'm going to add 
one, two, three cuts. So I just go path, cut, loop path, cut. You can hold shift and it'll go to there. Then hold shift and it'll, it'll go to there. Kind of get them centered. All right, and then we'll select this line. Well, let's see, maybe I want to use this tool. That one and this one. Right click and say bridge. And then just drag and drop that to there and there. And I can close this polygon hole. Mesh. Add. Close polygon hole. Boom. And select these here. Hit the hotkey I. Hit the hotkey D. Well, let's see what we're looking at. All right. That's close enough for government work. Boom. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I think what I'm going to do is just use some artistic license and uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It seems like I should just go like this. Well, let me put a bevel on all of these and then see where I'm at. Boom. Fillet. Bevel, whatever you want to call it. As far as this cap crap, let's see. We'll we'll fudge it. Let's bring it out to here. Okay, that kind of that kind of makes sense to me. Do 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 do. Boo boo do, boo. Lucas Sales, you better call Sal, said he will try this later, and he did the Lego one. Um, the Lego one, I think I've done a, a man, and I've done a, a tire. I'll put a little link in the description up here, and you can click it if you want to watch those. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Straighten that out. So, you know, you always get into this situation here. You just end up wanting to delete half of it. And putting a little symmetry in. That way, whatever you're doing, you're adjusting to both sides. Alrighty. I'm just going to run a little smoother on this thing here. Now this um, usually never, ever works out for me, this iron thing. But I do it anyway all the time. All right, go like that and then move it over here a little. Now I'm just gonna close this hole up. Add polygon hole, close the hole. Now what the hell's going on up there? That looks, oh, it's because I'm, um, got a current state to sort of object and delete it. There we go, now it'll do it. All right, you're ready. Now we're gonna go here, grab those polygons, hit the hockey D, give it more of an edge like that. Okay, that's good enough, I think. Now we got this little doohickey right here. So the other alternative way that you can make these guys is you can go in here, um, use your draw tool, and I'm just gonna go, I'll just fill that hole after, so we'll leave that as a hole. So I'm gonna go down here, sort of get the shape of this curve here. I like to do these with B-splines which means when you get to a, an edge like this, you've got to do three points. This is pr this could very well be of just a bad habit <laughs> that I formed. Um, let's see, so that goes all the way around. Let me see, okay, so in order to do that, what you do is go back a little bit, undo. So you actually draw in the shape you can't see I'm just going to guess it's right here. Then it doesn't really matter what's happening. You just kind of get it up to here. Tree, boom, boom, boom. Bop, bop, biddly bop, ba doo. Ba doo, doo, doo. See this line right here? That'll be made by that. Okay, I just have to trust my eyes here. 
Now this is going to go in like this. Two, three. We'll put one over here, and then we'll go one, two. I probably should have done these over here. And then down here. Okay. Now the only thing is that's off axes of the center of the little universe here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this tool and then move it. So here's the lathe tool. And I'm going to position it in the center right there manually. Boom. And just drag and drop this underneath that. And then as you move the null of this guy, you can change the thickness there like this. So I'm just going to go like that. Match the guide. Alrighty. Now this, for right now, I'm going to turn to linear. This cell, 32. We'll go down to 12. And then I'm going to current state that to an object like this. Boom. Then we'll fill the hole. Throw it in underneath the smoother. And we're out. Boom. Okay, now these are located. It looks like there's two of them. So what you do is this guy here is located over here. And then this guy put that in there is right here and hmm, maybe these are a lot thinner than I thought but I'm not quite sure so let's see now we can put both of these underneath uh, put them underneath a null like that I just did the hockey you know option G and it grouped them like that and then you can add this underneath the symmetry, like this. Boom, you're going to get that. Alrighty. Looks pretty good to me. Now, let's see what else we want to do here. Maybe this cabin shape right here. Let's try to get that in there. So I'm going to use um, Polygon Pen Tool right here, I think, and just go boink. Whoops, i got to be, let's see, did that not work? Polygon Pen Tool, boom, 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 boom. Now these points here, let's go like that. These ones here all the way out to here, perhaps. It's going to zero this out so they're the same height like that. Bring it up to there, I guess. It's going to adjust this guy to kind of like try to get it to line up a little bit better here. Hard to tell if it's. Let's see. Okay, well, let's go for that right now. Now I'm going to back my polygon pen tool. I'm going to add this part. Boom, boom, boom. Zero that out. Just making it the same level basically there okay now does that seem right maybe this comes out just a little bit like that all right let's try that i'm gonna do my polygon pen tool again here do 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 this is going to go for the center. Now 
don't see on the Z here. I just want to make sure that's flat. Like that. And then I want to make sure that these are on the zero, these two points right here in the center, because I'm going to mirror it over. So the X is right here. That's that red one. And it looks like they're on the zero. But they're not positioned on the zero, so there we go. Now when you put that underneath the symmetry, I'll just add its own here. Get that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to trace this off real quick since it's in my face right here. So we're going to go boom. change that to beast blind like this and then add a circle whoops not an inside I'm gonna add a circle there and then I'm gonna go to a sweep like that and then scale down that circle and then also it looks like I've got to adjust the, the plane there we go now I can just take this copy and paste select all the points like that then put it up here. Just scale it down a little bit. Do 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 do. Alrighty. Boom boom boom. Now let's see if I can get a clue as to where the heck those things are. Oh, maybe that's what these were after all. That mystery just got solved, I think. These ones here looks like they go right here. I guess I'll put them on this side to stay consistent. Eduardo asks, "Is Cinema 4D better than Blender? And what software did I start with?" So, the software that I started with when I first got into this was a program called um, After Effects, and after Effects, I could do little things like just move shapes together. I could, like I did an analog devices animation of their logo just coming up, coming together like that, and then analog devices maybe spinning out or something. But then I got into doing um, 3D, and when I got into doing 3D animation, the first program I got was Soft Image. And so what I did is I was pursuing going to to school, and when I got to school college I mean so it was after high school went to an art school and then I found out you're only going to be able to get onto the uh, the computers you know using a computer like this when you're a senior and it was your senior project and um, where I came from they had a pretty they had a pretty cool computer lab and they let me do a program because I had a hard time um, say like for example doing a foreign language um, so what I did is I got to design a class that was a mixture of my art class and a mixture of the computer class and I did sort of art on the computer but um so I, all I'm saying is I had access to these Macintosh computers and, and you have a room full of them and it really was no problem as far as getting access to the computer once I got to college it was a completely different story they would only have three computers and only you know the seniors got to work on them and and then I found myself going to English class and I was really excited about doing this kind of stuff um, so what I ended up doing was I dropped out of college after about half a year and then my parents gave me a loan um, to basically buy a computer and I invested in um, Windows NT machine it was called an Intergraph computer and then you could get soft image on it so at the time you could get alias wavefront on a O2 computer um, this is right around when TV is like 640 by 480 pixels. This is that point in history. So it was a big deal just to um, to go down to, I think I went to Boston. Yeah, I definitely went to Boston. A company called Cambridge Electronics. And um, Richard was the owner of that place. And anyway, he introduced us to a young guy named Michael. And Michael basically showed off all the computers and all the different software. And... Um, the one that was the Windows one and had Soft Image installed was like 50% cheaper in price or something like that, you know. So that was 
that was the one that we went for and then we got that got home and plugged it in i've set up an office for myself and basically you know learn how to use the the program you know by just reading the books that came with it and you had access to the program however it's actually pretty difficult to learn that way um you know like i tried to 3d model heads and i would draw lines on heads like this and i'd plot splines and then i'd I'd sort of loft them together and the nose would always look funny with the cheek and it just really wouldn't look right. And I didn't really understand at that particular point uh, what polygon modeling was, you know, where you're just like when I'm when I'm doing the polygon tool here and just adding the shape. I had no concept of that. And so eventually when I tried to go get, you know, because my current job I had, they were trying to get me to go and be, get more training, you know, so I could be more useful. Um, but once that started happening, I was like, oh, man, I really want to pursue what I wanted, the animation stuff. So I got just doubled down and moved to Los Angeles because if you if you move to one of these big cities, you're going to get more opportunities, basically, to work in a field like this. This might be different today with the Internet. But back then, you know, that's what you did. So I went out there and I uh, posted on a, a job board. And then on the job board it said, I think it was a place called MGLA, so it was a college, and I, I didn't really know that or whatever, but I think I just found film or something like that, and I found it on the internet, and I, I put my credentials up there, said, hey, this is me, I've got my own tools, you know, because I had a computer, and I'm um, looking for a job, and so uh, Neil Adams, who just passed on this year, he actually, there's a really cool comic that his son Josh did, uh, I just saw on Twitter. But anyway, um, if you look at my Twitter feed, you can see that comic that Josh Adams did. But yeah, so Marilyn called me up and they brought me into the office. And then um, they had a totally different program called Cinema 4D. And this is the program that I'm using right now. In Cinema 4D, I sat down in front of it and had never heard of it before. And sort of, it, you know, it has like, it had this material tab here. And when it had materials, there were these spheres. Anyway, very kind of different look and feel and just a vibe than Soft Image was. Now, Soft Image was great and everything, but Cinema 4D just had more of a, I don't know, like an artistic kind of a feel to it, I guess. And so anyway, I had no idea how to use the program, so there's this guy who was sitting over there. His name was Tomas, Tomas Marinello. And um, while the boss guy, Neil, left the room, Tomas came over and he sat down and did everything that Neil asked, asked me to do which was basically make this frog head talk. It just move its mouth like this. And um, so Tomas came over, sat down, and then Neil came back in the room. I was sitting in the chair, and the frog's head <laughs> talking on the screen. And so, uh, yeah, I believe what he said to me was, well, we'll see you tomorrow, or something like that. And he goes, I would rather hire a nice guy than a talented guy any day of the week. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> so it's like okay but so I showed up and uh, it was uh, it was great because they had Tomas there and Tomas knew how to use the program and so you had Neil there Neil wanted stuff done in the program and then you just sort of figured out how to do it it was actually really cool um, and then you can develop whatever your different strengths are so my strengths would be more doing the, the models and stuff when the little alien was bouncing around he had his ears going like this that would usually be something that Tomas would figure out faster. You know, the little IK rig and then put it in the head. So, you know, stuff like that. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, finally got to Cinema 4D. And, you know, is Blender better than Cinema 4D? Well, everybody out there pretty much seems to say that um, you can do everything in Blender. I've seen things that people do in Blender. And as far as I can tell, they're pretty much on par with each other. It, it would be like... Um, you like this katana blade or that katana blade and you look at the two katana blades and they're like well they're pretty much the same thing they're pretty much the same thing everything you can do here you can do there um yeah there might be some little different things like this program has this cool remesher when they bought zbrush now there's this z re remesher i've been using that a lot um so in my opinion though cinema 4ds i like it better just because i'm totally biased i've been using it since i think cinema 4d I literally think it was number seven or something like that. So think about that. <laughs> seven all the way up to this one, 26. So yeah, I love the program. This is sort of, uh, I'm probably never ever going to change, but who knows. 
and um, yeah, but I could be totally biased to it. Another thing too is Cinema 4D costs you know like seven hundred. $800 a year where Blender is free. So, you know, if you're an artist out there and you're, you don't have necessarily the client load yet, you know, you're living in your mom's basement or something, then Blender might be the tool for you because um, it's free. Can't beat free. I mean, I use a program that's free called um, Reaper for, for music. Um, XXX Tac uh, XXX says, I prefer the old version, C4D S24. Which version do you prefer? Well, I prefer the most recent version of Cinema 4D that's possible to get my hands on. Um, I have a lot of friends who are hardcore Cinema 4D users, and they prefer to use old, old, you know versions of the program because they'll have a whole bunch of plugins they'll be running octane and all kinds of different things that they have going on with their particular pipeline that it just doesn't make any sense for them to lose all of that um but for me i'm just basically making gray models and then i kind of you know color them so i'm right at home with the brand new cinema every single time so I just love it. And this 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 uh, 26 one has got to be one of the best ones ever. I mean, they just made the program. They minimize everything. You can see everything that you're working on. It's just really great. So, yeah, I would go cinema if you can do it. If not, you know, Blender. But, you know, the old versions of cinema, all the pros, that's what they're probably working on. They're probably all have, running the old ones. Let's see. Do, 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 do. No, I just want to add some windows, but you know, something looks funky to me like it's a little too skinny or something. So I'm just trying to wrap my brain around that. So give me one second here. I would just like to group everything and hide it. And then take a look. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? That could be the back window. Let me just take a look at the guide real quick. Yeah, that's the back window, right? Am I looking at the... No, that's the back window there. So I guess the front window is smaller because of these doors. Okay. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Am I going to just wait too long? Okay. Anyway. Back to here. I'm just going to throw that door in there. I think that might help. So, first thing I'm going to do is just trace this around right here. So I'll grab this tool. Make sure I'm in object mode. I'm grabbing this tool right here. It's just the, uh, what's it called? The spline pen. Zoom up on this guy. Now when you got a corner there, you need three points. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, boom. Now, just to be anal, I'm gonna go in here like this and boom, zero that out. Zero that out, zero that out, boom. And then make sure these right here, they look pretty funky. Uh, do they want to be zeroed on? It's hard to tell. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. Boom. And that guy there. Zero them out. So we go. Boom, 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 boom. That must be on this one. Yep. All right. And switch over to B spine. Now watch. If you go in here close, see those are hard. You go here. Boink. And they're soft. All right. Now I'm going to do is take this and project it onto that. So bring it out to. Bring it out to this side. Oh, wait a minute. Is that going to work? Yeah, it should work. Now, this is the window you want to do it from. Uh, you know what? Let's do it from this side. That way I don't have to switch my camera over here. Then I'm going to go to Spline, Move, Project, and then hit Apply. Wait. And then see how it puts it right on there like that? Now we can get the shapes there. I can just copy this one, actually. Boink. 
and then just recycle that. We'll get rid of the spline that was there and put that one in. Now we've got that. And then I can take this, copy, paste. I can make this a solid just by hitting extrude and then putting a zero offset. Boom. And I might be able to get away with this being linear. I don't know. It's a we'll just pop that out a little bit. Hmm, doesn't seem to like it down there. So I'm just gonna hide everything so I can see what I'm doing. And then this guy here. Let's see if I can fix this problem here by just doing this. Um, boom, boom. Select invert UI, hit delete. Boink. Now I don't have any of that crud in there that I was worried about. Alright, but is it gonna work? There we go. Okay. Now I'll be able to make this black. Boom. And a boom. Alrighty. Now, where in the heck this thing goes is beyond me. Where do you suppose this guy goes? It's like a puzzle, like a word puzzle here. Humana, 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 humana. It's there. You can't see it from the back. So, must be right in front of the door. You'd think you'd see that, though, wouldn't you? You think you would. Me. <laughs> sense does it I don't know because I don't see this right here this must be behind this guy oh is it right here must be right there and I just can hardly even see the dang thing okay that was actually probably a really bad idea to rotate it like that let's see I'm just gonna Take this guy and group him. Wow, oh, that didn't work. Bear with me, folks. So what I was thinking was I'm going to group that and I'm just going to move this null to here. And I just said, okay, so it's in a good spot there. Now I'm going to move that instead. ba ba da da ba 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 Yep, today's episode is brought to you by Ford Motor Company. They should be rolling up a new GT sports car. I'm going to start each show out ripping around, doing burnouts for you. I can't wait. Talk about an incredible endorsement. All right, that's a complete and total lie. If you like that one, I could come up with another one. How about NASA? <laughs> Elon Musk is landing a space pod in the backyard be doing the next episode from the moon okay pretty sure that guy reads his tweets because he's he went on the Saturday Night Live and he said hey anybody got an idea for a joke and I gave an idea for a joke about a fart in the <laughs> in the small enclosed SpaceX capsule and I kind of I guess everybody would have thought to do that one but yeah, the guy ends up his head blows up. He wants to get some fresh air on Mars because of the fart. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. Boom. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. So it must be this guy here. Uh, same deal. Yeah, I'm gonna group them. Grab the null. Zip it up over there. And then we'll just bring it in over here. Rotating around. You're just seeing me turn on and off this null tool because it's great. You can manipulate the axes and then it stays wherever you put it. 
go back to there and it's like you can manipulate it based on how you change the axis so it's a pretty powerful tool okay <clears throat> ba ba da bo 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 Throw that underneath the symmetry tool. Boop. All right. Now, let's just go ahead and close the top of this sucker off. Boom, boom, boom. Secret agent man. I swear to God, I thought forever it was secret Asian man. And I'm like, you know, grooving on. I also thought it was um, working on the night train. But it was night moves. Yep, 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 yep. All right, here we go. Wrapped up like a douche in the middle of the night. I won't tell you what I thought that one was. Let's see, when he says Bruce, I always thought it was gross. I don't know. I think I got that backwards. I always thought he was saying Bruce, but he's saying gross. Ah, yeah. Let's see. So this is the red one, X, boink, like that. But then you want to make sure the position is there, too. Probably should have waited until I did both of these, but you know how it goes. I really can hardly blab and work at the same time, so it's amazing that we're even doing this. Okay. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Ah. <laughs> I watched this guy, uh, German in Venice. He reminds me of that guy, Tomas, I was telling you about earlier in the story. So, Tomas, he'll be doing whatever he's up to out there. And I watched that guy's show, German in Venice. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Do I want to close the back of that? What the heck? Polygon pen by Menon. Boy, did I hear a funny story about that by Menon. I think it's the guy's name is Carrot Top. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's the guy. And anyway, he goes, uh, he's over at Gene Simmons' house. And um, the whole time he's pulling Gene Simmons' legs, pretending like he doesn't know who Kiss is. He's like, oh, Kiss. He's like, yeah, I don't know. You know, I don't know if the guy's from Canada or what it was, but it was almost believable to, to Gene Simmons. And so Gene Simmons must have liked the guy or something. He says, hey, you want to go check out my warehouse with all my crap? And, uh, so the guy's like, yeah, yeah, sure. So as they're walking around, checking out, you know, this and that, the guy starts leaning in on this. Oh, yeah, well, you know, one time I wrote a song once. And, he's, and Gene Simmons is like, oh, yeah, yeah, what was it? He goes, well, yeah, you ever hear um, By Menon? <laughs> Gene Simmons is sort of like, what do you mean? He goes, yeah, yeah, that's me. My, uh, my friend and I, we there was a contest. And um, we entered the contest and, you know, we wrote the, we wrote the melody. And we won. And they said it was going to become this huge uh, commercial, which it did. And I've done quite well, you know, with the royalties from that song. <laughs> and I don't know when he tells Gene Simmons that he's just pulling his leg. But at some point he tells him it's just great. He had him going the whole time. Oh, I love it. All right, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Zeroing this out. Again. There we go. So now that's closed up. That's closed up. All right, all right. Let's make the front window. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. So, let's see here. I'm just going to go ahead and draw it. Boom, boom, boom. We'll just do half of it. How's that sound? And then mirror it over. Why am I seeing that? 
you hold control down it flushes everything out all right so boom hmm. what if I want to start from here Charlie that hurt Charlie um, I'm hitting escape let's see get me out of here draw tool again and click this hmm. well I'll be all right there we go we'll just start it there boom 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 all right that'll be less work for me because I can just zero these run down let's see boom 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 okay Okay, so I'm just going to copy this guy here. Boink. Recycle that. And I'm going to mirror it with this. Did I grab the right one there? I'll grab the mirror. I might have made it a little too thick there. I want the same size as this one. Eh, they look about the same size. Okay. Now, oh, take this here and this here and run a zero out. It's a backyard beach. Backyard beach. Now I'm going to go here. Finnegus and Fern. Oh, yeah. Let's do it like that. Now, I want to hide everything but this guy right there. Now let's line them up. Actually, there, that's a straight one there. I don't even know if we need to project it. But, we'll just go like this. Okay. Now, copy and paste that. Turn that off. Da, da, da. La, 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 la. Copy, paste. And... What do I want to do here? What do I want to do? Is that right? Or did that look all screwed up? Gee, oh, uh, why does it do that? Oh, I see it because it's got that thing. Alrighty. Alrighty. <laughs> Connect and delete these two. Weld that together. Now that might screw me up. Let's see. Weld that together. We're welding. We're welding away. Let's see if that works. Whole lot of screwing around, people. Oh, my God. That was over like a fart in church. So. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a new polygon right here. Okay. Getting uh, close to taking a break here, people. So... I'm just going to put this in real quick and then we'll call it and we'll take this up tomorrow with a part two so that I can eat some lunch. Boom, 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 boom. And we'll grab all that and push it back in here. Just like so. Boink. Now all that's going to want to be black. Oh, not that though. Okay, so that's about as far as we got today. Not too far in, but we got some stuff done. Here's what it looks like with the the guides there. So this probably take us a couple of episodes here, but we'll get her. Not to worry. Let's see. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been wonderful.
I wish I could take you home, magical mystery tour. I'm good. We'd love to take you home. Yep. All right, we'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Talk to you tomorrow.